Hey guys, uh, Code Red here with the uh, Dirt Poor Wheeler XJ Jeep. Um, it's a good day. Been in the same sense. It's a kind of a letdown of a day. Um, reason being, good day. Let's, let's do good first. You know the saying goes, the good, the bad, the ugly. Well, good first. Like good news. Good news is, is I got some stuff in today. Well, and uh, a part last week. Um, what came in last week is my roof rack. Um... Parts are included. I was worried that the parts weren't included for mounting. Um, you can find it on Amazon Wish. I can't remember exactly where I got this one. I think I got it off of... Oh, yeah, I got it off Amazon. Um, I ordered... And what came in today is I ordered a spare... Uh, Parts kit, you know, like screws and whatnot, o rings, whatever, spacers. Hey, there's one up there. And, uh, ordered that off of Amazon or No Wish for like eight, ten bucks. Uh, it took forever to get here, but glad to see it was here. Um, let's see. And then, here's the letdown part rookie mistake. Noob, yep, I know. I ordered a winch. I got the worn winch, the uh, what is it, the 9.5 CI or whatever it is, CTI, yeah, the 9.5 CTI worn winch. Um, it looks like it's gonna mount up. I haven't, uh, I need to turn the light off, which I can't do that right now, but uh, yeah. I haven't looked to see if I can just mount, take this plate off, and then mount it straight to the bumper, which I think I can. It looks like I can. Um, but the letdown part is, what you see is what you get. I need to wait, wait a week before I get paid again, being on disability every month, to... Uh, Hey, that's functional, movable, but uh, I need to uh, order the receiver controller. Um, my question is, do I want a wireless or a wired? Now, I have the, let's see if I can find it over here. I got my toolbox out here too, so I can put everything in it, but I have... I'll find my controller. A remote control. Where did you go? Oh, nice place. Right under the uh, Jeep. But I have the stock controller. The tactic. Now, I watched a YouTube video a while ago, and I watched it again today, that he said, I can't remember who it was, but he said that, yes, you can use these for your winch, but it's constantly, the winch is constantly on. Um, I really don't want to upgrade my remote until I have to, which may be here soon. I don't know, because of what I'm getting into on the Dirt Poor Wheeler. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show you what I got in. Um, I want to install the uh, roof rack. Sorry, my mind's everywhere today because I'm trying to remember everything I need to do and whatnot. Uh, but uh, I don't have a body remover. Nobody here in town has one small enough 
they have them for the drills where it goes down by sections but I don't want to do that because I want to be able to size the bolt holes up correctly to the roof rack so I have ordered one a while ago I'm just waiting for it to get here it's coming I don't know why it's come clear hell from China excuse the language I'm just getting frustrated that it's not here yet and it's taking so long but it's in transit um, even this stuff the the bolt kit screws whatever you know and the winch wasn't supposed to show up for like another two weeks and it showed up today so it's a good you know good thing but I also found out what I need to prepare for in a week from today exactly what I need to to get this up and functional for now I may just install it and have it ready to go you know plug it in to the receiver or into the yeah the receiver for the the controller you know and mount that probably on the right left side driver side out of the way and then plug it into the ESC the receiver all that kind of good stuff for the remotes and then I'm probably just going to do a, a wireless I'm probably going to run the RC four wheel drive and uh hey I just look what I just realized look at that and I need to buy some Loctite. Obviously, I've been hitting stuff pretty hard. So, uh, um, for now, I think that's everything. Um, didn't, can't go wheeling. I mean, I can. Um, but we got, oh, shit. Um, two or three inches of blown snow last night. Or if not more. So it's drifted in places. Um. I've been working on that pile of snow out back to make it a little bit a little bit better and climbable to get up on so it's just not so steep and then straight up to the fence. Um, other than that, I swear I just seen something fly past the screen. <laughs> but other than that, you <laughs> squirrel. But uh yeah, other than that, nothing else. Um still waiting for a couple more things to come in the mail for the dirt poor wheeler i am beanfield thanks for helping me with the name of that i've only got three subscribers but you're the only one that's constantly talking or you know we're talking back and forth your help's been great appreciate it um i took your ideas into consideration for the bipod stuff tripod stuff the retractic pull or retracted cold retract i can't even say it retractical uh or retracting there you go retracting uh antenna for kind of a thing to pick up the bipod and move it around um took that into consideration and whatnot so yeah <clears throat> gonna work on doing that as well um so, um, so on the fishing derby, um, nothing on the first day for me, uh, with the, I think she hooked one, I think we caught a total of, uh, two or three that day, not measurable, not tagged, so no money there, second day on Sunday, um, not too good. Um, I had a few few catches, not by me, but by the family. Um, no, no keepers, no money there. Uh, got to talk to my buddies. I, I didn't get to see them, but I did get to talk to them after Saturday, after the derby on the phone. Um, that come in from my hometown. Um, as I had, I had a, a tip up, and for you guys that don't know what a tip up is, it's a round thing, has a flag on it, and you pull the flag back, and it's got the reel on the bottom, and it sits in the hole, or not the reel, but the spool sits in the bottom, and you flip your tip, or your flag, it's got a, like a flag on it, and you lock it in with the reel part on the tip up. So when a fish bites it, it flips that flag up show you're on you have one well the end of Saturday, sunday it was like four o'clock in the afternoon derby ended at uh 4 30 i was reeling in and i had one hit 
It's like, okay, sweet. You know, it almost ripped that tip up out of my hand. And uh, so I let some line out, kind of jigged a couple times, let some more out, jigged a couple times, let some more out, jigged a couple times, and then I started reeling in, and it hit again, and I just wasn't quick enough to yank that line because you, you can either reel it in or you can pull it in by hand. Kind of cool. I kind of look at it, at it like the old-style way of fishing, you know. With just with just the you know with your hands, it's kind of cool. But that's the only bite I got out of the two days. Fished it the week before, great. But with that many people fishing and whatnot, then fish aren't going to bite that that good. But uh, that's the story on that. Uh, last year I didn't even get nothing, so I'm going to say this year was better because you know this this uh, ice fishing season in total, I've caught. Two or three fish, three fish, yes, three fish. One Wisty and I caught together. It bit my hook, swallowed my hook, and then went and grabbed hers. And yeah, we ended up landing that one together. It was kind of cool, but weird. But so I ended up catching three. So for me, I'm gonna call it as a win because uh, I've caught three last year. I didn't catch any, and so yeah. So until then, um. Waiting for more stuff to come in. Got a, I'm going to write down a list of stuff I need to get this next month for getting this all set up. I'm going to tighten this up real quick after I get off the... Shut the camera off. I think I know where it's loose at. Feels like right here. I think. But, yeah. Um, alrighty. So, Code Red with the Dirt Pour Wheeler. We'll see you next time. Out.